how is it not breaking in the wind? So it's really, it really seems like it's not adhering to our aerodynamic principles. And this really goes back to, could this be, be gravitic propulsion? That's what we've been arguing. The only way you can have amazing maneuvers, fantastic maneuvers, like the Tic Tac, where you have hyper acceleration here, extreme speeds with no discernible means of propulsion and incredible G-forces, right? You're, you're talking about extreme maneuvers. Only way you can do that is by modifying gravity, right? Modifying the G-forces so that you're not really adhering to the physics that we understand. You're not going through the air. You're actually using somehow gravity manipulation, I believe through electrodynamics, some sort of electric interaction. You're able to modify, like Nikola Tesla said, somehow you can modify the vibrations, the energy density of an area. Talk about Salvatore Pais, his patents. You're effectively modifying, or as Hal Putov said, accessing the vacuum zero point energy. So somehow you're interacting with the medium of space-time, which is, I believe, the ether.